Good evening, Chelsea fans. Chelsea staff did back on the day after the night before. And the Chelsea news in this video is that Chelsea, believe it or not, are through to the Champions League final in Istanbul against Man City with a dress rehearsal coming up this weekend. We were written off before Real Madrid battered them. We're going to be written off again this weekend and in the Champions League final. But as I said before, and I keep on saying on this channel, you're a fool to write off Chelsea. Let's get into this. What can we say about last night, apart from the fact that, yes, Real Madrid had their two big chances with Karim Benzema and Eduard Mendy made fantastic saves to deny them. But when you look at both games, you put both games together, you put the key moments in both games together, you will realise the amount of times Chelsea created good opportunities, the amount of chances we had, if we were clinical, and I'm, I'm not talking out of turn here, I'm not overemphasizing things, I'm not bigging things up to the point where they shouldn't be, I'm just telling you guys the truth right here, right now, we could have beaten Real Madrid 6 or 7-1. That's how dominant Chelsea were. And think 24 hours beforehand, the amount the press, the media have been raving about Man City for 24 hours since they beat PSG on an aggregate of 4-1, I believe it was, going absolutely mad about the fact that they 4-1 over two legs against Paris Saint-Germain, who, let's face it, haven't got a great record in Europe, nor has Man City, but oh my God, it's the be-all and end-all. They're amazing, De Bruyne. Let's just, just you know, put Pep Guardiola on a, on a throne. 8, 7, 8 against Real Madrid. And it would have been well-deserved. And it's about time Chelsea gets some credit here. I don't think there's been enough, if you ask me. The Chelsea fans last night were amazing, especially you guys that are part of my community, that my channel members, and you guys that show me support continuously. Our stream last night, the live match commentary last night, when the game had finished, we carried on. I carried on going two and a half hours after the game had finished, and there were still people from all over the world celebrating the fact that Chelsea had just played fantastically well and we got ourselves into a Champions League final for the third time. And it's just such an amazing achievement. I just get the impression today it's been sort of celebrated for a little bit but then played down again. And the focus is now on Eden Hazard's going to be sold from Real Madrid because he was laughing with Kurt Zuma after the game. Real Madrid, you know, they're now an ageing squad and the, the problem is now Real Madrid. It's not the fact that Chelsea battered them. The fact that Chelsea are a young squad that's gaining immense experience right now and FA Cup final. They know what it takes to get to an FA Cup final. They know now the journey they need to go on as a group and as young players to get the job done in European competition and get to a European final. And I cannot wait for the FA Cup final. I cannot wait for the Champions League final because we've got to go into both games being supremely confident. It's not being arrogant. I'm not being bullshit. I'm just telling you exactly how it is. And people asked me last night on the stream about Man City this weekend. Now, we've beaten Man City a couple of weeks ago, FA Cup semi-final. They hardly laid a glove on us, let's be honest. Yes, okay, we had our defensive shape. We hit them on the counter. Should have scored more than one, but we beat them. People are talking Man City this, Man City could win the Premier League title with a win against Chelsea this weekend. Who's to say we're not going to turn up and spoil their party? Honestly, we I, I cannot comprehend how Chelsea and Thomas Tuchel are still being played down, are still being written off, are still being, yeah, but, you know, the run has been incredible. West Brom aside, the run we've had against the teams we've played has been absolutely incredible and we're not getting enough praise for it as far as I'm concerned. We really aren't. And it's all about Man City. The whole build-up. Man City this, Man City that. You know, you, you look, at, look back at the coverage from BT Sport after the Man City game, just waxing lyrical. Absolute waxing lyrical about everything. Last night, the Chelsea game, 
just talking about you know how well they played and all that for a short period of time. Then it went on to Real Madrid, and then it was then talking about the Champions League final and this sort of thing. And it alluded back to Man City again. And honestly, it just does my head in. It really does my head in. So yesterday's video I've got to move my seat up because my chair keeps moving down. You don't want to see me sitting like this. It's a pointless video. For it's a ridiculous video. Imagine me sitting in a video like this. Hello, welcome to the video and welcome to the channel. You're watching Pob. Ridiculous. Got to get a new chair. Hold on. Where was I? <clears throat> I've lost my train of thought completely. Oh, that's it. My video yesterday morning, my match preview. I was encouraging you, the Chelsea fan watching this video, to ignore everything that you were reading in the press and the media. Everything, because it was Real Madrid this, Ramos is back, Hazard's back. They're going to be nearly full strength. They have the know-how. They've got the experience. Real Madrid know exactly what to do to win these type of games. And Chelsea have got some experience, but not much. Honestly, it was just a lot of old poppycock. Really was. And I just said to you guys, ignore it. Focus on the game itself. Be positive. Be confident in our team. Because I firmly believe, and I actually stated last night, or stated in the morning on my preview, we'd win by two clear goals, whether it's 2-0 or 3-1 on the night. I'm so happy I was proven right, but we all know it should have been a lot more. And the reason it should have been a lot more is because Chelsea were outstanding, absolutely outstanding. Mendy, first half, his saves were incredible, had nothing to do second half. Defensive line was great, the organisation was great. The midfield four all the way across worked hard defensively, did what they needed to do. N'Golo Conte, an absolute machine, but we expect hardly anything else because we just know he's going to deliver time and time again. And there's a clip going around on social media of our second goal. And the fact that he goes to challenge for a header just inside his own half and he then sees what's happening and he runs past three Chelsea players to make that challenge and win the ball off Nacho and set us on our way for the second goal. Outstanding. Mount, busy. Not supremely outstanding above everybody else. Brilliant. Took his goal well, but worked hard. Pulisic, great. Kai Havertz, best game in the Chelsea shirt. Werner got his goal, caused big problems because of his pace. Pulisic, come on, did great for the second goal. Busy. You just look at our squad and the options we've got. And even if we make three or four changes this weekend against Man City, we're still going to be so well drilled, well organised. And I honestly can't see Man City breaking us down. You know, it's all going to be about City title winners. You're going to imagine Sky going to be in Man City's ground. They'll have, like, bloody funfare up. They'll have all sorts going off because Man City could win the title. Pep could get his second championship this season, which he will. But then it'll be on to the, 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 not the quadruple. Or maybe we beat them in the FA Cup. It'll be the treble. Pep's treble this season will be immense. Honestly. Chelsea are going to go to Man City this weekend with steely determination. And just imagine this, Chelsea fans. We've already beat them the other week in the FA Cup semi-final. Imagine Chelsea beat Pep Guardiola's Man City team this weekend. What psychological advantage that will have going into the Champions League final. It would be massive. Massive for us as a major positive. For Pep and Man City, it'll be a real concern. So, this is a Chelsea news update. The news is we proved everybody wrong. And we're going to prove everybody wrong again this weekend against Man City. I could sit and record a video preview. I could sit and talk and waffle on about players that are going to potentially come in and change and the threat of Man City. But I'm not going to do that because I'm still celebrating the fact we're in the Champions League final. And our run has been incredible. Let's think back to some of the teams we've played. Premier League. Everton, Liverpool, Tottenham, Man United. Who else have we played? And they couldn't break us down. They couldn't score against us. Champions League, Atletico, one of the most organised, disciplined teams, feared teams in Europe because of their organisation and their drilled to perfection tactics from Simeone. Couldn't lay a glove on us. Porto, conquerors of Juve, couldn't lay a glove on us. Real Madrid, we battered them and should have won 6-7-8-1 on aggregate. It's just a time to feel good, Chelsea fans. It really, really is. And 
Let's just be positive. Let's not even focus on Man City. Let's just concentrate on us and just carry on doing the job we're doing. As the sun sets where I am, which makes my face completely washed out, but I can't do nothing about that because I haven't got a blind or a curtain. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. The video was going so well. Anyway, you get the gist of my... I can move backwards. There you go. Perfect. Anyway, Chelsea fans, you get the, the general gist of this particular video. It's just a bit of a tongue-in-cheek Chelsea news video from me. I hope you're all st still feeling great like I am. And just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. And let's just enjoy the next few weeks between now and the end of the season. Starting Saturday against Man City, where we're going to turn up again and spoil their party, having been written off. Love it. If you've enjoyed my video, drop a like on it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, but hit the bell for notifications. You'll notify when my videos come out. If you like the video content and the live match commentaries and you want to support my channel, hit the join button, which is just next to the subscribe button to find details of how you could be a member with two different tiers to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about my video in the comment section. Have a good evening. Have a good day tomorrow. And I'll be back Saturday evening, 5.15 here for live match commentary. I'll see you then. Come on.